So, tent's finally set up, and we're gonna make something to eat and hit the hay, because we have been up an awfully long time. <laughs> <laughs> yep. How long was the car drive? Hey, little buddy. Well, that's the first porcupine I've ever seen. You're not too fast. So this is, this is the trail we cut to get back in here. So 
uh, not easy to get a machine through, but doable. Richard will be coming next on the quad. The camera doesn't really do it justice. It is actually pretty rough though. Well, we finally made it to a decent amount of bison sign. They're in here for sure. Just a matter of running into some, eh, Norm? So it's about 105 degrees in the wall tent. <laughs> the door is open. <laughs> Seems as though everyone's happy. And uh, we have chicken done in the skillet, the spuds with butter, and some kind of bag salad and red wine. We think it should be good. Today makes, I think, the fifth day of hunting. We got up pretty early and walked in to a field an hour, I mean, half hour before first light. Checked out a few other places and time to have a warm bite to eat. Just making some dehydrated meals. about to leave the field on the far side of the Sakani and pick up Richard, go do some lunch and make a new plan. There's no fresh sign here whatsoever. So the other day, I don't know, maybe three days ago, we found out about this trapper's cabin, which uh, has an outhouse <laughs> and uh, proved to be mighty convenient. <laughs> anyway, start of another hunting day in the wall tent. Hot coffee, bacon and eggs. And away we go. It's going to be 
just Kaya and myself today. Richard's a little under the weather, seems to have caught a cold. Makes a pretty nice start to the day. Beautiful sunrise. Kaya and I are going to whitetail hunt our way in for 30 kilometers with the four-wheeler. Then we're gonna jump on the snow machine and we're gonna try um, an area that's a little easier to get to in view of the fact that Richard's taking a camp day. So I'm on storm watch. It's been the night from hell. Rich and Kaya are sleeping the lanterns on low. It's windy like you could not even imagine the, the stinking chimney blew out of the wood stove two times, filling the tent with smoke. And the tent was almost ready to take flight, despite being really well guyed down. So we were out there in flip-flops and our underwear, trying to secure it, got it done. But, oh man, what a night. I would say the gusts gotta be at least, or they were, 100, 110 kilometers an hour. Never seen anything like it. Well, on the 11th day of hunting, Richard has gone and got it done, taking his first buffalo. We're uh, pretty happy and now the work starts. Well, we're just finishing up, taking a break, and it's decided to snow like a blizzard. Figures. Well, about to take the first load of meat back to camp. About uh, 28 kilometers on the quad. And I'll pick up the trailer and hopefully uh, the quad will pull the trailer up the hill and that would, if, if it will, we'll get her done in uh, just one load with the trailer. Otherwise, we'll be a lot of back and forth. Well, I headed back to camp with four quarters, took the box off of the <clears throat> quad and loaded up four big quarters. And Rich went and got a load with the sled and brought it back to the main road. And I obviously brought back the trailer and Kaya and they're heading in for the last load. And uh, between the trailer and the sled and skimmer we'll be able to get this done in basically two trips back to camp which is great
Well, it's been a bit of an adventure to say the least. We're just uh, starting to half break camp. We think we're gonna leave tomorrow morning. There's a couple hunters out there and they're down to one machine. So they asked if, uh, if they didn't make it back by nine o'clock tonight, we'd go look for them. It gets kind of real out here after, I don't know what it is, like 12 days, that's all the firewood we have left out of bringing a whole pickup truck full. We're out of food, except for that big pile of meat you saw on the left of the tent. And uh, we we're down to about, I don't know, maybe 50 liters of fuel. We burned 400 so far, so. It's uh, been quite the trip. The scenery has been awesome. The company has been great. And uh, we'd do it again in a heartbeat. So, we're at the tail end of the hunt and we're into our final dinner. Bison tenderloin with baby potatoes boiled, Caesar salad, and a nice warm wall tent and some happy campers to say the least. We are on the final night of our hunt. Uh, just finished some bison tenderloin. It was amazing. We're out of water so we are currently making water on the stove. And we're gonna get up, have some breakfast, pack up, and go home to see our family and loved ones, and get back into the grind. Even though this has been a grind. <laughs>